Alrighty then. Hello and welcome back to Fake and Real Just For You. Thank you very much for joining and coming back to my channel to see what's new. And today we're going to start with a brush from Chanel and also known as Bruce. We'll just call it brush. So to start with fakes, a lot of fakes out there are being duplicated or even just made out of pure fantasy and enjoyment. So I'm here to tell you how to identify them. Just a simple and quick way to find out if your uh, Chanel brush is real, yes or no. So I will hear a fake example. Now the first thing you need to look for is actually the pin on the top here. Now, this is a model that does not exist. Um, this whole idea looks good, but doesn't really scream out fashionable Chanel high fashion version. So when you see this, you probably know it's a fake one. Also, the branding on this side here, you can see it says Chanel 21A, made in France. Very nice, nice feature, but still the lettering is not correct. It's too big, it's too bulky. And when you look to the overall of this of this clip, you can actually see it doesn't really have a nice finish. And I said this many of times that not only Chanel, but every high brand goes for that quality, that nice look and feel, that that polished finish. And this doesn't really scream that. It does have a good finish, but it's not it's not there. So a good example is actually with this one. As you can see, there's a lot of clutter on this side, a lot of unfinished or unpolished corners here, and that immediately gives away that it's not really a Chanel brush. Now, another one like this, as I said, and this is the back side, same pin here, not real, not correct. And again, you have the branding on this side. I'll show you guys how this branding needs to look in a minute. So the newer models have the Coco Chanel branding on the pin side as well. So this is the correct example of how that initial stamp needs to look like. As you can see, the, the letterings are spaced out beautifully. They're correct. They're in line with everything. It's clear and it's nice and neat. Now, if we go back through this one, and we can actually see it's it's all just cluttered against each other. Like the 22 is too close to the logo. The copyright branding is too close to each other. Everything is just not right. And if we go back, we can see here it's nice spaced. It's clear. Everything has its place, and that is what you're looking for. And if you look clearly, you can actually see it's been polished very nicely and clean. Another beautiful example of how it should look like is a nice, good spacing. The letters are clear. It's not bundled up together. And that is what you should be looking for. This is like an overall look of how it should look like the newer models. As you can see, it's the logo branding, the branding on top here, it has a flat face here. Look at the bridge on this side. Looks clean, as you can see, polished perfectly. No flaws, maybe one small flaws, but in general, you can actually see it's been polished beautifully. And again, the branding here, you can see it clearly, spacing is good, and all is clear within the borders of the shape. This is a good example of older version. I think somewhere in the 1990s maybe. And those have the old-fashioned clips. Um, it's not really clear. Let me just open up another one and give you a clear view of how a older version should look like. Now this is the older version. I think uh, again somewhere, somewhere in the range of 1990 maybe 1990 between 1990 and 2000, you actually have these kind of clips and these bridges. Um, and this is the branding as well. Now again, it's not cluttered together. It has good spacing. It's clear. 
and it's nicely done and also here a good example of the previous one nicely polished with the bridge with the logo and also the branding here all right guys this was a quick but very i hopefully a very educational video on how to identify a coco chanel brooch i hope this helped furthermore always ask for receipts or certificates a, a book mostly they get they get a pouch um, the box uh, serial number or whatever you can ask ask always ask for these things look for the quality of the stamp look for clear pictures if the pictures aren't clear that person is trying to avoid something if it's a real product of coco chanel trust me everyone wants to show it off so always look out for those too good to be true deals these are just simple pointers to watch out for when buying these type of products all right guys thanks so much for watching again hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i hope to see you guys next time Take care.